It's showtime. Hey everybody, it's the D-Rock 100, and welcome back to more of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D Blind. Last time, we finally gotten ourselves the Bigaron Sword, and we put it to some good use by revisiting a couple of cases that I've missed from before. And who's even finding some secrets that I've missed from before, and it was definitely something that I should have gotten from before. But no matter, this time... It's about time to put this place to some good use. Hi! Welcome to the Happy Mask Shop. We deal in masks that bring happiness to everyone. How would you like to be a happiness salesman? I'll lend you a mask. You can sell the mask and bring the money back here. If you want to read the fine print? Take a look at the sign over to the right over there. After you sold all the masks, you will become happy yourself. Have faith. It's a usable item, okay? Okay. Let's have faith. Cape mask. So let's see here about, about this here mask. Okay. Okay. So what am I supposed to do with this? So, what am I supposed to do with this? Mask of the even popular head Caton. When it can make anyone popular. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You know what? I think I remember a guard from Kakariko that says that. Yeah, this was from earlier in the Let's Play. Someone, I think it was a guard at Kakariko that said that there was a mask that he wanted to give to a child. Alright. I just hope I don't go on a wild goose chase or something. Is it you? Oh, that's what I was talking about. It's kind of strange. Yeah, it's a face of a freaking Pikachu. Well, how about you go screw yourself in a ditch? I think it was you that was hanging out. Oh, is that a key something character mask? He's very popular recently. He's my boy's favorite, that key something mask. If you don't mind, will you sell it to me? My boy will- <laughs> Now that's funny! Time to cheat. And hopefully... It'll allow me to do this. Ha! <laughs> 
Hold on a minute. I'm gonna check something. Maybe there's something that we've shown on the map every time that I give this mask to someone that seems important. But then again, I don't want to jump to any conclusions because when have I ever been successful on that? Oh great, you sold it! Please pay back 10 rupees for the Keaton mask now. Payment received. Borrowed a skull mask. Where is it? Hey! <coughs> <coughs> Okay, so what do I do with this? Well, I think I have one idea of where this could potentially go. Maybe if I try giving it to one of the Skull Kids at... The Lost Woods. You know what? Yeah, that would make sense because... Yeah, that would make sense. Yeah, you'll be fine. If I can just find one of the Skull Kids, maybe I'll give it to them. Wait a minute. I wonder. <laughs> How can I play the ocarina with this stupid thing on? Okay. You are not being quite helpful right now, Shard. All I just need to do is just find out- I'll GET TO YOU IN A MINUTE! Nope, not it. Under that mask! Under that Kukuri kid? Quite an unusual mask you have there. <laughs> I like it. You're looking a lot better on me. You know, just give me a second. I need this time with my phone. There we go. Oh, sorry, what were you saying? Hey, why don't you give it to me? Yowza! I'm gonna wear this all the time! You just give me 10 rupees for this 20 ruby mask. You lost money here for that deal. <laughs> Meh, it's fine. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. So basically, I just gotta find the right characters or creatures that resemble the masks that I gotta wear. So, let's see here. I want to check something. Oh, okay, okay. The Epic Sales Boy! Totally so is not going to be relevant for something in the future. Spooky Mask. Spooky mask, huh? 
sounds like something that we would see from the graveyard or something. Would make sense. And I know just the quickest way how to get there. I'm pretty much just making this up on the fly. Mostly because I, it's the themes of the masks. And the first one I remember from an earlier episode when I first visited Kakariko. So let's boogie on down. That's what I call a swish. All right. I think it's you. Yeah, it's up in the gravekeeper. Oh, it's just a mask. I get a different kind of fry with a mask that I get from Dompe. Mask, I'll be just like Dompe. Here's my money. He don't didn't mind paying at all. That is so cute. Okay. So now that we got that, what's next? Sup. And now, well, there's just one last one. We're swinging rabbit ears. Okay. So, what's this one for? I mean, it could literally be anyone. I don't really know what to say about that one. Well, screw you too, buddy! Maybe I could give it to someone at. Perhaps maybe I should give it to someone at Long Long Ranch? Perhaps? Maybe give it to Malin? The only other person that I can think of. Because I don't really get it. There she is. Hi, fairy boy. What? You think you're in disguise? But it's so obvious who you are. Okay, maybe not. person that I could think of.
trying to think here on who could possibly would want this. Wait, who's that? Hi! I bet with those long years you couldn't even hear the vo What? Unintentionally play Zelda's lullaby. Unintentional on my end, but I guess that one works. So, I guess with that said and done, did we just sell the last mask to the person that I actually thought the last person would be? Well, I learned here throughout 10 of my times that I've been a Let's Player of to a series I haven't played yet, to just whatever it. Let's see here. Oh, great, you sold it. Oh, yeah! Very well done. All the masks are sold out. I knew I could trust you. I said, well, I'll lend you this special mask. This is the Mask of Truth. It is a mysterious mask passed down by the Sheikah. With this mask, you see into other people's minds. It's useful, but scary. Why is it scary? You find out as you grow older and wiser in the ways of the world. <laughs> From now on, you can borrow any mask you want. Just have faith. So does that mean that... Oh. Okay. Oh! Okay. Hmm. I wonder if or what we can use this for. What's this mask for? Oh, actually, now I'm thinking about it. The happy salesman says that it's better for when it's used when we're older, I think. one I'm missing. Maybe there's something that goes on in the future?
And apparently our mask is gone. Well, um, this practically explains nothing. So I guess technically I pretty much just gotten everything that I needed to do for this episode. Wait, gossip stones. Hmm. Wonder. You mean those gossip stones? I mean, like those weird stones that we see in that goes like boiling. Maybe I have the right idea. I'm just looking at the wrong stones. Let's see here. Oh, here we go. Responding to your mask, the strange stone on his statue talks to you. I overheard this. They say that Malin set the original record of it in the obstacle course at Long Island Ranch. Okay, what does that mean? They say that Malin at Long Island Ranch hopes a knight in shining armor will come to sweep her off her feet someday. They say that it's against the rules to use glasses at the treasure chest shop in Hyrule Castle Town Market. Why? The Gudo sometimes comes into Hyrule Castle to look for boyfriends. Uh. Okay. What does that mean? I don't think about it. I haven't been back here in the alleyways in a while. What? What's wrong with loitering around all day? Huh, kid? You got problems, man. Seems strange that packs of dogs are roam the streets at night. Does that seem weird to you? Couldn't tell you, buddy. What's this? There's... Okay. Strange. The store doesn't open. Hey, Sonny, let's tell you something helpful. There's a mysterious fountain somewhere near the castle. A mysterious fountain. That's a big help. You mean this fountain? check something because something smells different that way? Oh, never mind. It's this way. We gotta go this way. I can't use the mask of truth here. Well, the lens of truth. Excuse me. Oh, now we can open this. Welcome. 
the bomb shoes. Well then. Are we positive that these guys are doing some sort of usual deals at night? Don't know why I think that. Let's see here. Or I could just do this. Bye bye, night time. So now that we've got the the mask of truth. What are we supposed to do with it? Let's have him listen to some of these gossip stones or something. I'm so confused over what we're supposed to be doing. Do we need to like, talk to some of the other gossip stones or something? Too, buddy. Where'd this come from? Not taking my chances with you guys. That's a lot of rupees. Let's see what the old fart is doing. Oh, you know what? That's right. I need to leave the area. I think the way how it works is that if I head off for... Maybe if I begin my ascension of Death Mountain, perhaps, maybe that'll help. <laughs> He's still wearing the mask. Yeah. <laughs> 
Right, so the sun's just setting, so maybe now he'll be out. Oh boy, I remember. I think he might be out now. It probably just comes out just out of when the sun sets, I think. Which doesn't really make much sense because, well, look at it. I really don't want to keep cheating the clock. Uh, worst ranch keeper. Step out. Thank you. I'll just step out here and let the sun set. That was a good timing. Yeah. Let's try this again. If that's not the case, I'll figure something out later. There he is! Maybe at this one? Okay. So maybe all you need to do is get this guy to dig in these spots right here. Oh. Hey! That's like the best possible. Rise, why I love it. Well, yes, please take care. Maybe a little closer.
This is great digging up everyone's money. Hey! You know what? I'll come back to you later. Good thing I noticed that. Yes, please dig here. Nothing. So let's try this one. Hey, I'm giving this guy top money for this, so he better respect him for what I'm doing. Over here, maybe? A waste of time. So, what do I do now? Dug a hole. I found a treasure that stretches. Boing and shrinks. Boing. So fun. I never give it to anybody. Okay. What does that mean? Is he potentially talking about the hook shot? No, it doesn't make any sense. Let me there's nothing else that's hidden around here. But now I'm thinking about it. Uh-oh. It caught a bug. 
Why do we need a bug? I don't even know. But I even get the strangest suspicions that... That, um, what am I thinking of? What am I trying to say? No, yeah, I kind of lost my train of thought. So, um... Now that I'm thinking about it, there's one other thing that I want to do, and I'll... After this, then I'll go ahead and finish up from here. Correctly, I think. Hello, everybody. See that a fairy lives on top of Death Mountain. If you want to make it to the top, you better take a big shield with you. I don't think that's going to be that much of a problem, buddy. Thanks, Mr. Goron. What's up, big guy? You can call me a sworn brother. Something on this platform seems to be worth my time. Comes here. Strangest feeling that there's something in there that I need to look into. What's up, buddy? Brother, play that tune again sometime soon. Oh, sure. Do 
You don't say. So, I take it you didn't have anything new to us. I was like, it's a strange feeling that's not meant to be there. Shortcuts so much. Actually, hold on a minute. They say that the small holes in the ground you can find all over Hyrule. Yeah, Hyrule make a perfect breeding ground for bugs. Thank you. What the? So like right around here then. Oh, this thing's useless. that the judge made him with a big head. I've seen these things in a while. But you went, yeah, I think there is one over here. One question, I believe. I think that's a 
about it for this episode, because I'm pretty much just at a loss of what I'm supposed to be doing. I mean, we've... We've accomplished, uh, something. So at least I guess there's something on that, I guess. So, uh... I guess it with that said and done. I think it's about time for us to go ahead and end things off from right here. So next time on The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, we find out more for what we can do, and hopefully sooner or later we enter Ganondorf's castle and maybe do something else. See you guys then.